What's up everyone? For this week's video, we got some sweet beers we're filming. I reached out and found this really cool brewery in Portland that had all space themed beers and it fit perfectly. We haven't really made the video yet, but uh, you will see it now. So I'm thinking that for this shot, it's gonna be actually just one continuous shot. All the magic gonna be done in the background with all the different space themes I'm thinking of adding in. So literally it's just gonna be zooming in, it's gonna have crazy patterns, everything done in post. All right, so kind of step one to start in this process, story blocks. I am going on here and I had looked up Galaxy, looking for a ton of stuff that's space themed. I'm trying to find cool colors that kind of relate to the can also, but I am gonna be going in post and switching colors around to make it match. So I'm gonna find a bunch of these. We gotta to go to Francis, get this super sick song he's making for the video, and then we'll cut it up, and then that's what we'll play as the shot actually happens overlaying. What's up guys, I'm Francis, and I made the song for this video. For the song, I added a lot of space-themed sound effects. Like in the beginning, I added a UFO saucer type of sound effect, and then the main sample before the drop is a girl saying that she's an alien. So this is the type of music I do produce right now, more upbeat EDM stuff. So if you do like this song and want to see more songs just like it, go check out my Spotify, SoundCloud, on the internet. <laughs> so right now we're actually hooked up to the TV because I need to scale everything properly. I want it to be framed right, so we're going to have the camera, we're using it to record right now, which is why it's not there. But. We'll have the camera looking through this and then I'm changing the scale of everything so that it actually fits properly and does all that. And then while I'm doing that, I'm also timing up all of the music drops to the different scenes. So a quick tip we noticed, uh, been trying to figure out how to balance this on this metal skewer for five minutes, but the beer is super heavy. Dawned on me, probably should just pour it out. So <laughs> make sure that uh, you think smarter, not harder. So I've been thinking a lot about how to make this actually look really good. So I've noticed a couple things. When you're lighting up the can for this one continuous shot, obviously all these obstructions doesn't make for the best lighting. So what I'm thinking is actually doing three separate shots, masking them all together. So we're gonna do a shot with the can that's lit up like you're seeing right now so that you can actually see the can and all the reflections. So that will be one shot. The next shot, we're gonna actually remove the lights, remove the can, and that'll be so you can get a clear background, that triangle, and then that'll be masked in. And then I'm thinking we actually just get a green screen and film a totally different shot of just the can and put it in overlaid. So the first shot we're gonna get is of the can with all the reflections in the mirrors. So to light that, we've got two pomo tubes on the side, and then we have a rectangular softbox up top. It just fit the area perfectly, and none of these lights show in the reflection of the TV or on the mirrors. Also, because we just want a really clean reflection in all the mirrors, we actually sprayed this can with a matte clear spray, and that way it diffuses any of the reflection so there's not like harsh spots on it. All right, so we got the first two shots. We got the shot going in to show the can and all the angles. That's what that shot was for. Then we got a shot going in for the background, the just normal triangle by itself. Third shot, we are doing just the can by itself, floating, and that'll be overlaid. So those are the three shots. You're gonna make the one. To do this shot, we did a like kind of top slash backlight, but because we have a mirror down here, helped also light it up from the bottom. You'll see that there's a lot of light on the can. We have a side light and then we redid the video. We moved the TV to the side and now it's just a black background so that the reflection can be on the can so it'll really fit in the video and to make it way better of a reflection and way more actually on the can. And then I also just, blew up the saturation, turned up the luma and all that just to add as much color and brightness to the can as possible because obviously you're not gonna be seeing it, you'll be seeing the other image. And that is kind of how we're gonna do it. All right, let's dive into the editing. So for this video, all I did was pretty much mask. So as you saw before, we have three different shots. It's time to put them all together and to make one good looking video. Looking at this off the bat, you notice that uh, there's only really two clips here, but that's because I actually have a compound clip that we'll dive into. So first things first, I really like to have the music and I kind of cut everything up based on the music. So for me, I like having the song beforehand. So like you saw earlier, we did have Francis make the song for us. So what I did first was go up and on all the different transitions, as you can see, I do these marks and it just makes editing really easy for Final Cut Pro. Everything kind of just like snaps into place pretty well. 
Um, and that's why I really like using them. And if you want to like switch clips in and out, it's really fast and easy. Everything's all kind of copy and paste once you do that. So I really recommend doing that for anyone. That's kind of how I did it. For this, all I did was, you know, get all the clips that I wanted. I color corrected them to change into more like a color that will fit the can that we're doing. So it's more like a teal, orange, and like black theme. So you'll see a lot of these clips kind of all kind of fit that scene more or less, but like, if I show here and I take off like the color correction, you can see I just did a little bit more work just to kind of have it fit the can better. So this is what I put on the TV. I just also transformed it so it looks good and you did it over there as you saw earlier. So let's go into the clips that I actually got from the camera. All right, to start this off, I just wanna show you the two clips. So I built this into a compound clip, just clips in the clips. For the video of the can, all I did was did a mask around it and I just kind of got rid of that uh, skewer. Simple as that. So then I took that clip and then I can kind of do what I want with it. So for the video, I just made it start small with a keyframe transformation and then it just got bigger throughout the whole video. I really think that this can having it separate and adding it in at the end was a really good move. It made the can so much better lit up than all the obstructions that way if we tried to do it all in one. So let's break down how I did the background. So in the background, like I said, is pretty much all masking. So I have it labeled out a little bit. So we took the base layer, so I'm gonna, let's, let's take these off and build it. So if you understand how layers work, you'll kind of understand the gist of this. So we started off as the layer with nothing in it. That's just the blank going in with no skewers, no can or anything, because that's what everything, well, we're gonna be removing different parts of the different scenes, and then that's what will be underneath and revealed. First clip is just gonna be base. Then I added, if you come in here, I added the clip of the cans. So you'll see the cans going around. So then on this layer, I masked out, as you can see, the skewer in the bottom one. I didn't mask out the top one because I'm actually gonna mask out this whole entire triangle next, as you'll see. So for this one, you just keyframe, just follow. There's a lot of videos out there that teach you, so if you don't know, just go look it up. It'll, it's not hard at all. All right, so moving on, we got the middle triangle. So we revealed this you're gonna see that the can disappeared. So boom, boom. Like I said, all I did was mask out the middle, so there's nothing there, because I know that the can is gonna be floating through the middle, so that is why I kind of just made it blank, got rid of the skewer, and just made it look clean. Now this is kind of what we're looking at. The client wants to do this video vertical, and the vertical, as you can see in this top corners, is you actually see a lot of what's going on in the background. So what I thought of doing was, the little triangle in the middle, I can take that and then fill it into the corners. So as you can see, this corner fills in. This is just the triangle from the middle. I cropped it out, put it there, and then I keyframed it and that's how it moved. And then I did it again on this side. And so that's kind of how I filled in this whole vertical format. It really wasn't set up for that, but I did want to do that. And that's kind of how I figured out how to do it. And I think it worked pretty well. Um, yeah, I think it worked decently well. All right, so that's kind of how I made the background for everything. It's just five layers over the music. So if we go back to the main clip, and then you just have that clip overlaying it. We have our final product that is this, like you saw earlier. watching this we appreciate you and if you're feeling crazy give this video a like comment share the love also big thanks to ecliptic for sending us these awesome beers this was so much fun to make all right that being said have a kick-ass day bye guys <laughs>